morning, Exa. Good morning, teacher. How are you? I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> you're tired, but you're fine. Yes. You know, it's it's hard. All right. So we're yeah. going to wait for your class. Yes. Teacher, I have a question yes. about the platform. Uh huh. Uh, I'm entering. Okay. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. In this question, in the section two point ten, the prodigies. Mm -hmm. uh, the answer I wrote different answer and is incorrect. Okay. And, well, I read the question. Yeah. And I think that the answer is, is correct. This her paintings okay. are fair to some Picasso or great artists. I wrote Picasso and other great artists. And you didn't take it. Yes. Uh, no. But well, no. <laughs> Yeah, why don't you try, you know what, I think um, it's reading it as Picasso's, apostrophe S. Can you try to do that? Um, yeah. Um, try just writing, yeah, because I have, someone else had that problem yesterday. You can even just leave it just Picasso's. Erase everything and leave it as Picasso's and it's going to take it right. Try it right now. Just Picasso's? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Picasso, yeah. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Or if you wanted a longer sentence, Exa, it could say uh, she has been compared to Picasso's, but Picasso's with apostrophe S. Um, this is the problem. Yeah, yeah, it's because of the apostrophe. Yes, it's the possession of, you know, but that's uh, why. Yeah, okay. I think the answer on that one is a little bit like mm, tangled, you know, so it's like a lot of um, people have problems, are like having problems with that because they don't have the apostrophe S. All right, yeah. so I'm going to, I'm going to probably get it fixed so everybody can do it better and faster. Mm -hmm. So you don't have a problem with that. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Hi, Berito. Hi, teacher. How are you? How are you, Vero? I'm so fine, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Um, Vero, how are you doing on the platform? Yes, uh, today is about here he is a is justamente avanzando teacher. <laughs> okay, very <good. laughs> sorry for Spanish. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's fine. But today, yeah. today finished the platform. Excellent, Vero. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. Very good. All right. Very nice to have you in class, Vero. Thank you. All right. So wait. The, the, yes? the um, um on the Tuesday in Wednesday, I'm sorry, but the the, today i'm not here in class okay no that's okay Vero. that's i understand and as we approach to the um, end of the year i think it gets even more difficult for some of you to join the classes all right but that's okay Vero. don't worry about it okay as long as you are like you know here sometimes because of your work and you're doing the platform and, and you feel that you're learning i think we're fine okay all right, so we're going to begin. Uh, Vero and Exa, yesterday we were talking about the unreal situations, about unreal conditionals. Remember that we have to use, we have two clauses or two parts of a sentence, Haili. All right, you have the if clause and then you also have the main clause. All right, so when you put those two together, then you have an unreal situation, an unreal conditional, all right? If you begin with the if clause, what is the punctuation, guys, that you need to use? 
What is coma. the puncture? Yes, very good. Coma, right? Right after a, like the verb in past, like if I, I don't know, if I went, coma, and then you continue, right? Now, you have three possibilities on the main clause. You can say would, could, and might, and that would just depend on how a strong of a possibility within the unreal conditional this would be, all right? Usually, we use more could and would more than might, but we use it, all right? But in the question, good morning, Sophia, good morning, Araceli, Haili. In the question, we're usually going, good morning, we're usually going to use would. What would you do if, all right? That's like the main question for unreal conditionals. Now, remember, we can have what, where, who would you talk to? I mean, who would, I mean, you can say who, um, if you had the opportunity, who would you talk to? You can have who, you can have where, you can have when, whatever WH question that you need to use, it's okay, all right? But usually when we ask a question about, hey, what would you do? It's like, what, what, because of the type of question I'm asking, what would you do if uh, you met, I don't know, uh, Exa, tell me your favorite actress or singer. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. So I would say, um, uh, Exa, what would you do if you met Shakira, right? If Shakira knocks on your door, you're like, I don't know, all right? I don't know. I would say hi, right? So whatever. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, like a normal person, right? But you people get excited, all right? So, oh, yesterday, uh, Maradona died, right, Exa? Yes. Oh, no. Yes. Right. A lot of people are like sad in Argentina, I guess. All right. Very good. Did you like Omexa? Or you did you did you like? No. Okay. No. All right. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> all right. Very good. Okay. So what it, whatever the question is, all right. That's how like or whatever information you want to know. All right. That's when like you would ask with the usage of the WH question words. All right. So we're going to continue because yesterday we didn't have a chance to check. All right. So here we were talking about this. Just give me a second here. This is, this was the practice conversation, right? That we had to do yesterday. Yeah. All right. Very good. So here we have pra uh, practice complete this conversation. Let's see. Um, Ileana, can you do A and Exa, can you do B? for the first um, conversation piece. Okay. If you have three months to travel, where would you go? Oh, that's easy. I will fly to Europe. I've always wanted to go there. Excellent, very good. Uh, let's see, Sophia, can you do part A of the second conversation? And Araceli, can you do part B, please? Okay. If you doctor told you to get more exercise, which sport would you would you choose? Excellent. Araceli, how would you answer that question? Or Vero? Oh, Araceli, thank you. I don't remember, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh huh. Um, I'm sure the question of that letter B, the last one, uh, Araceli, this one right here. Okay. Wait, wait. Yeah. I am not sure. I am not sure. Uh, but I good, but I could go join to or three times a week. Very good. Yes, thank you, Araceli. All right, but I would go jogging two or three times a week. All right. Do you have it anywhere, like anyhow, differently, guys? Or that's okay. That's how you have it. Ili, did you have a different answer for that one? or Vero or Exa, what do you yeah. think? Is that okay? Yeah? All right, very good. I, 
Yes. Well, in the platform, the it, this is a, a sentence in the platform. Okay. Uh huh. Use my. Okay, I might go jogging. Right. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Why is my in the platform and no wool? Um, I guess when they made the platform, I guess they are like thinking to use because they are teaching you on the platform to use would, could, and might. So the idea is to expose you to like all different kinds of sentences, depending on how strong the possibility is. But if you use would, could, or might, it's okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have, you're given those three options. All right. Now in the platform, they are taking it as might. But it's not that might is the only right option, all right? So you can have could or would. Very okay, good. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Hi, Joanna. Good morning. I think Joanna's texting or someone's texting. Oh, okay. I get it. Okay, Carlita. Thank you. All right. So here, uh, those were the conversations. Then I asked you guys to make some sentences, all right? So let's see. Um, uh, Exa, again, tell me one of the sentences that you came up with yesterday. Excuse me, repeat, please. Yes, can you tell me one of the sentences that you did with your classmates yesterday? Oh, yes. Uh, I will fly if I had Goku powers. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, that's very interesting, very good. Ili, what would you have? What is your sentence? Uh, if I had a horse, I could ride all weekends. Oh, very nice, that would be very nice. Yes, really. okay. Vero, can you try to do one of uh, one of these type of sentences, Vero, using the, um, the unreal conditional? I don't know, teacher. All right, that's okay. All right, so in this, I'm just gonna show you the, uh, the quickly the presentation so you can like um, see it and then I'm sending it today So we, because we're finished with that topic today. Sophia, can you tell me one of your sentences that you came up with yesterday? <clears throat> if I could choose any place to live, I, I will choose El Salvador. Oh my goodness, Sophie, you're so patriotic. <laughs> Very good, all right, nice. Araceli, do you have any um, of your sentences that you came up with yesterday? Yes. <clears throat> if I studied more, I, <clears throat> I could pass the course. Oh, all right, okay, but that's not the, that's not the, uh, that's only an example, right? And I tell you, very good. All right, you're doing great. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> All right, thank you. I know Carla Joanna uh, doesn't, her microphone is not working, or Carla, I can't remember. Carla Joanna, her microphone's not working, and Carla Beatriz is working. So right now we're not going to ask them. I'm going to take you here, guys, again to this that we did yesterday. All right. And I'm here, here, teacher. Can you speak? Yeah. Yes, but I am Carla Beatriz Aguilar, no Joanna. Yeah, I know. It's like I have the two Carlas right now. <laughs> and one of you okay. guys is not, uh, yeah, Carlita is there also, but her microphone's not working. Okay, Carla, can you tell us, Carla Beatriz, can you tell us one of your sentences, please? Uh, okay. Um, if you were an astronaut, ah. uh, you will pick a piece of the moon. <laughs> Excellent. All right. That was, that was a nice sentence that I heard yesterday. Very good. Okay. Thank you. So here we have this one, guys. This is just for you to remember and for Vero to see it. This is how we make unreal conditional sentences. We have two clauses. We have the if clause and we have the main clause, all right? In the if clause, guys, we need to use if plus the subject plus the verb in simple past and then the complement, all right? If I want a million dollars, all right, they, act, they really like us to think we were rich, all right? I would put the money in the bank or you can use I could buy an airplane because I would have the money to do it or I might give it all away. So if you notice or when you're using the unreal conditional sentences, you may use would, 
you may use could and you may use might all right either one is correct it would depend on you on how possibly within the unrealness of this condition this could happen all right so i would put the money in the bank hmm, i could buy an airplane because i would have enough money i might give it away you know like it's half and half so here we have these three ways to answer or not, not to answer but to complete the sentences of unreal conditionals or here we can switch it all right we can have the main clause and then the if clause that's okay you can say i would put the money in the bank if i want a million dollars i could buy an airplane if i want a million dollars i might give it all away if i want a million dollars all right now one thing that you need to remember is punctuation all right if you have the if clause at the beginning the comma is it has to be there between the two clauses but if you begin with the main clause no comma is needed all right so you need to remember that but as i said yesterday you can do the switching you can switch it but not the structure the structure remains the same for the if clause you have the simple past and for the main clause you have either would could or might and the verb on the base form okay so that doesn't change if you change positions it's okay but not the structure the structure remains the same now yesterday who remembers we were talking about a special case hi gabby hi francisco we were talking a special case yesterday when we use the verb be all right what happens when i use i he she and it for the unreal conditional sentences use where and where to be yes very good for everybody you're going to use where all right especially if you if you're giving an advice all right but you say if i were if he were if she were all right now as i said yesterday now it's acceptable to use was because many people are getting confused because for years we have said okay was is for i i he i mean for i he she it but now i'm telling you no it's also for like you can use were for i he she it but only in unreal conditional sentences okay so that is like the tricky part but other than that, it's the same, all right? So that's like the biggest change, okay? I don't know if you have any questions about that, guys. No questions? No, we're okay? All right, no. I'll, okay, very good. Uh, I'm gonna keep on sharing this for you here, and I wanna do this exercise here in class with me. I'm gonna show you this here, so you guys can finish it here right now. When we finish this, I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes, finish it right now, then we're gonna check them and then I will send you to your groups, okay? So work on this right now, finish it. For example, number one, it says, if I had longer summer holidays, I would travel more. What happens for number two? If John did more exercise, what happens? You tell me, I don't know, all right? And the same thing for number three, four, five, all the way to number 12. Let's do this right now, okay? Work right now on this. When you finish, let me know so we can check. All right? Teacher. Yes. Just one sentences. Yeah, finish, yeah. Okay. Just one example. For example, if John did more exercise, he could lose weight. All right? And that's it. All right? And then you do number three, number four, number five. Mm -hmm. Like work on the, the whole exercise, okay? All right, so I'm gonna give you some time so you guys can work on it.
How are you guys doing? Finished? Not teacher. All no, right, that's okay. No okay. yet. That's okay. Let me know when you finish. Guys, the light went off at my house. I might get cut off. Rafa, se fue la luz. Se fue la luz. <laughs> 